Dave Beer. This is a, a video abstract for my uh, Big Data and Society article, uh, How Should We Do the History of Big Data? Um, and when I was, I was doing some work for a book called Metric Power, um, and when I was doing that, I started to think that it's quite it's interesting how powerful um, and how important, uh, how prominent that concept of, of big data become, the term, the idea of big data had become. Um, and I started to think there was, there was room there perhaps to do some work that explored the power of the concept, so or explored the work that is done by the term big data. Um, and I started to think you could look beyond um, the methodological questions or the critical data studies type questions, which are really important and are a thriving area uh, currently uh, in the study of big data. But um, I started to think there was room there then maybe to think about the, uh, the concept itself and the work that was being done by it. So uh, the work that I was doing for Metric Power, I came across um, the article, uh, How Should We Do the History of Statistics by Ian Hacking, which is in, this, uh, in the book, uh, The Foucault Effect, or was revised for inclusion in the, in the Foucault Effect book. Um, and that really got me thinking about how we should, could potentially approach um, the history of, of big data. Um, and what I started to think was actually that um, we had very little idea about the way the concept of big data makes up that data. So through the work on social statistics done by people like uh, Ian Hacking, um, uh, Theodore Porter, uh, Des Rossieres, um, you, could, you could also include Foucault's um, lecture series in the sort of uh, mid to late 1970s in that. Um, that what I started to think was that there was, although we had we developed quite a, a good understanding of the history of social statistics and that we could place big data within that kind of genealogy, it was the way that the, the, this particular term frames the data today that I thought was another set of interesting questions that we could potentially open up. So I used Ian Hacking's work and also um, Foucault's uh, interview on the questions of method to think about um, how we might approach uh, understanding the work that's being done by this concept. And what I wanted to do was then to think, well, I set up a series of uh, questions or approaches, a kind of uh, grid through which you might analyse that term. So I was thinking about the way that you might um, explore the promises that are attached uh, to big data, or the way that big data is a term that's used to verify or justify certain behaviours or to authorise certain things the way it's used to verify or to demarcate notions of value and worth. These are all sorts of questions that I think, and I've set up in that article, um, as a way of analysing um, the power of this uh, particular concept. So that's what this article tries to do. It tries to set that up uh, as a beginning point, really, for thinking through that as a, an analytical question that draws heavily upon, upon the thinkers that I've mentioned. So really this is a paper that tries to set up the question of how we understand the work that is being done by the concept of big data.